Around here, heroes have hammers. Volunteer Mennonites from all over the country here to help put this community back together. I got emotional. I, you just don't have someone walk over and say, hey, I see you guys are in a very bad situation here. We're going to help fix that for you. Sean Casey's home suffered significant damage when Fiona crashed ashore last September. That window got broken. Uh, we lost siding over here. This is Glace Bay on Cape Breton Island, where it's windy on a good day. And Fiona's fury is still evident all over the place. We lost part of our roof and uh, the whole roof was compromised, but uh, we were lucky. Uh, our next door neighbors, not so lucky. The Casey's neighbors were out of the country visiting family during the storm. Their house used to be right here where I'm standing, but the Casey's had to call them and tell them they probably shouldn't come back for a while because their home was gone. We said, well, there's no point, there's nothing here, your house is condemned. Dozens of homes still haven't been rebuilt or repaired, either because the owners are still fighting for insurance, disaster relief promised by governments in the wake of the storm hasn't arrived, or there's no one to do the work due to a shortage of contractors. It's definitely not over. We're st we still got calls again this morning from people looking for help. The United Way has been trying to coordinate help, compounding the problem, a long-term housing shortage. It's desperate here. So there was no place else for these folks to go, so they lived in it. They lived in their homes with the mold and the wet and everything else around them. And water get into this area here. Joe Spencer lost his roof and lived in his house without one until the Mennonites arrived. And how would you have gotten your roof fixed if they didn't come do it? I have no idea. None whatsoever. They say they're coming back to fix his ceilings, walls and windows. Relief for some, but so many more are still waiting after what has already been a long time living on edge. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Glace Bay, Nova Scotia.